Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Amparucci and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Mars Attacks Martian cake. If you're a 90s baby like me, then you know what I'm talking about. Mars Attack was my favorite sci-fi movie growing up and I wanted to bring some of the 90s into this crazy crazy year. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to click down below and subscribe to my channel. Now for this cake, I did not use a template, I did use this picture for reference. Uh, my bad, I mean this picture. <laughs> to get started, I have two 4 inch and two 6 inch round cake pans which I've greased and lined with parchment paper and I'm going to fill these with some vanilla cake batter that I've dyed using some green gel food color. I baked these at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and since the 4 inch cakes were smaller they were done first so the other ones took an extra 5 minutes. Once the cakes are completely cooled I remove these from the cake pans and I'm going to add these onto some aluminum foil so that I can trim some of them. I trim the back parts of both cakes and I'm going to stack both of the 6 inch cakes together sideways so I'm going to fill in between the layers with some vanilla buttercream and I want the cake with the most rounded dome top to be the back part of the cake because that's going to be that rounded back part of the Martian's head and so that it can stand properly I'm going to trim off the bottom so that it's nice and flat and now it holds in place and now I'm going to trim that dome part of the front part of the cake so that my smaller 4 inch cake fits flat against this. And I'm going to trim off the bottom of this cake and again I'm going to fill in between with some vanilla buttercream. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to place this last cake. I really don't think I needed it but I'm still going to cut it in half and try to add that to add a little more dimension to the front part of the cake. So this is what the alien head looks like. The two smaller cakes are the front part of the head and that domed round part is the back of the head. I know it looks like a mess but once I start carving this it's going to come together. So I placed this in the freezer for a few minutes just so that it's nice and firm and easier for me to carve. And I'm going to start carving with my serrated knife. Again I did not use a template for this. I just looked at a picture and just used them as reference and free formed and just kind of eyeballed everything. I cut a slit in the middle of the top part of the head and then I'm going to just remove a little bit of the cake from there because the Martians have this huge slit in the middle of their brain and this top and back part is going to be the Martians brain. And then I'm just going to round out the sides and back of the head. And I'm going to create a score mark where I want the mouth to be. Here I have a tiny cake board that I'm going to add some buttercream onto and I'm going to add the cake onto there and this is just to support the bottom of the cake. And now I'm going to cover the entire cake with some vanilla buttercream. Once I'm done covering the cake in buttercream, I put this in the refrigerator and I let it set. And using the back of a spoon, I'm going to carve out where I want the eyes to be. At this point, he looks a little bit more like an alien than a Martian. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a second coat, but this time I'm using whipped white chocolate ganache. And now using some fondant or modeling chocolate, I'm going to enhance the features of the face. It's better to use modeling chocolate for this, but I didn't have any, so I'm using what I have, which is fondant. And it really doesn't matter what color the fondant you use for this is, so I'm using some leftover green fondant I have, because this is going to get covered with whatever color you are going to make the Martian. Basically what I'm doing is just adding fondant where more of the protruding features are such as the eyebrows, the nose, and the cheekbone structure. And 
And now also I'm going to do the brain design using fondant as well. So that way when I drape the final fondant over this, it captures all those little creases and crevices. And there's honestly no specific way to add these. I'm just doing it as I go. And now with a damp brush, I am just brushing all of the fondant features so that the fondant layer that I'm going to add on top of this sticks to this fondant. And now I have this really cute kind of mint green fondant that I'm going to cover the entire cake in. Now this fondant was so hard it started cracking, which I don't understand why because it was like 90 degrees and so humid, but my fondant was so hard, firm, and cracking. So please don't mind the cracking effects that you see. Once this cake is finished, you won't even be able to tell that these cracks were there. So I start by draping the fondant over the cake and then using my hands, I smooth it and tuck it to fit the seams and all the little nooks and crannies. And then I poke a hole with my finger where the eyes are going to be. Once I'm done smoothing all the fondant out, I just trim off the excess fondant and this is what the mask looks like. I know it doesn't look like much, it honestly looks like that Goosebumps episode, The Haunted Mask. But trust me, I still need to add a lot more features and paint it and it's going to come together. So I have this little fondant tool and I'm poking some holes for the nose part. And with the tip of the fondant tool, I'm just creating some wrinkles and little lines all over the mask to accentuate a little more. And then when I paint it, those lines are going to pop and give it a little texture. Now, I didn't have any black food color left. I was so disappointed. So the closest thing I had was brown. So I started painting all the parts that were supposed to be black with brown. I'm painting the outside of the sockets using some brown food color. And then I paint the nose as well. Now I am adding some white fondant to create the teeth. And I am painting the perimeter of the mouth with some brown food color. I create a little division in the middle to separate the bottom and top teeth. I paint that brown and then with my X-Acto knife I am going to create some slits to make the teeth. Using some white fondant that I rolled into balls, I'm going to insert these into the eye sockets. And I'm just painting a little more around the eye and the eyebrows and just enhancing a few of those features. Using some what was supposed to be red fondant, I am creating the iris of the eyes and adding these onto the eyeballs. And don't worry, I'm going to paint them with some red gel food color to really make them look red. Now I did have a little bit of black fondant luckily so I can add it to a few of the features. So I'm going to make two little small balls of fondant for the pupils. And then using some red food color and a toothpick, I am going to create the little veins around the eyes to make them look kind of bloodshot because that's how the Martian's eyes look. And now I'm going to add some black fondant into the nose cavity. Now the picture that I looked at, the Martian has like red parts around his nose and cheekbones and eyebrow area. So I'm using a little bit of diluted red food color and just painting those areas red. I'm also going to accentuate the little skeletal look that the Martians have on their cheekbones and right above their teeth. And I'm also going to accentuate the brain part as well. Now it's a bummer because I wanted to make the brain purple because that's what the Martian's brains kind of look like, a purplish pinkish color. 
and I didn't have any purple so I decided to make it red slash yellowish. And now I'm using yellow gel food color to highlight some areas and also blend. To give the Martian's brain a little more of a textured look, I painted it completely red and then with a dry napkin, I just started patting the paint off to give it more of a texture and also not make it such a bright red color. Then I come back in with the brown gel food color and give it more detail. Now these Martians have like these little tentacle or gill type things on the side of their cheekbones. I just used some peach colored fondant that I had left over and my camera died of course when I was recording adding these on here and I just painted them to blend in with that cheekbone part. And also another thing I did while my camera was charging is I added and I feel like now the eyes pop even more, I added the little bit of black fondant I had left over and I just added that as a ring around the eyes and it really made the eyes pop. And now I'm just using my brush and blending a few spots and making it come together. And this marvelous Mars Attacks Martian cake is complete. I hope that everyone that watched this tutorial enjoys it and gives this video a big thumbs up and subscribes to my channel if you're not subscribed. Also, keep watching because I'm going to cut this Martian's brain open. And if you guys aren't from my generation, the 90s generation, then I would suggest you watch Mars Attacks. It's like a parody sci-fi film and it was created by Tim Burton. He is one of my favorite film creators. So you guys definitely have to watch that movie. Alright, now it's time to see what these crazy freaky little Martians have inside their brain. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any more 90s themed or sci-fi cake ideas you guys would like me to make, let me know because I really enjoyed making this 90s sci-fi, I love it.